Voishmod released their API over to Touch Portal earlier this year. I'm happy to announce that Touch Portal has already developed a plugin for Voicemod, and we're going to be talking about that in this video. I want to keep this video short and sweet, but before I do that, I do want to thank you so much for choosing to watch my video over other videos. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. There's a few things we need in order to continue with this setup. I'm going to assume that you already have voice mod and touch portal installed and set up. If you don't have those two applications installed, consider checking out the setup tutorials I have on my channel. I'll link them in the description and I will also put an info card on the screen up here for you. For those of you that aren't familiar with Touch Portal, Touch Portal is the application version of the Elgato Stream Deck. It's a whole lot more cost effective and you can put it on your phone or tablet. What Touch Portal allows you to do is automate a lot of the processes that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. You can create a button on your phone or tablet that will make your life easier as a creator or just as an average user on a computer. This is what Touch Portal looks like on my phone. I have created a set of buttons on my main page that serve a certain purpose for me and what I need. Every single button here does some sort of function that I've programmed within the Touch Portal application and they make it as easy as possible to do. What we're gonna do in this video is set up voice mod with Touch Portal so you can control your voice mod application and your voice mod voices within Touch Portal at the touch of a button. There's a few things you need to download if you have voice mod and Touch Portal already set up. We need the voice mod plugin which you can get using the link in the description below. I just want to say thank you so much for using that link in the description because it is a link to an article on my website. It helps me as a creator, so thank you. I appreciate it. And after we have the voice mod plugin installed, we just need to set it up on Touch Portal. So go ahead and install that plugin and we will continue with this setup. Oh man, I can't even play this game. I sure wish I had no ping. No ping is an application that will find the fastest server route for any game that you play so that you have the lowest amount of ping possible. You can check out no ping using the link in the description below. After we install the plugin, we can import that plugin into the Touch Portal application. The way we can do that is from the little wrench right here and going to import plugin. From there, you want to import that .tpp file that you got from the download. It should tell you that the plugin was successful, and you can choose to always trust these plugins or just click OK. After we have the plugin installed, we want to go ahead and create a new page for the voice mod plugin. So I'm going to create a new page, and I'll just name it voice mod for the sake of this video and click OK. Just so you guys know, you don't have to create a voice mod page. You can just add these buttons to any of the pages you have already created. I just want to show you some of the basic functionality of Touch Portal if you're new to the application so you can kind of get used to it a bit faster. What we're going to do is create a button right here in this video. We're going to left click on that. We're going to scroll down till we find the voice mod section. I want to make it so that this button selects a random voice for me. So what I'm going to do is select random voice action here. I also want to be able to press the button a second time and turn my voice back to normal. So what we're going to do is select the action for select voice and we're going to set this to clean. After that, we're going to create a if statement and we will find that in the logic section here. I'm going to drag this above both of those. I'm also going to add in an else statement right here and slide it right in between. Next, we're going to set the if statement to if this button state is off. We're going to change the value of the button. So we're going to change the button state and we're going to turn that button state on. When we press this button, and the button's already off, it will turn it on and it will select a random voice. When the button's on, it will turn it off and it will set the voice to clean. The next thing we want to do is create the button visuals or the button graphics for this button. I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm going to go over to the button text and I'm going to type in random. On default, I'm going to go ahead and keep the color on white and I'm going to make sure the initial value is set to off. After that, we're going to go to the on event tab. From here, we're going to create a win button state changes event and we're going to go find the visuals and we're going to change the button visuals. What we're going to do is change the text color over to green. 
We're gonna add that in and we're gonna switch this over to on and we're gonna create another add button visuals. We're gonna change the text color over to red, but instead we're gonna add another event statement when the button state changes and we're going to set it to off and we'll slide that right above the red there. After that, we've successfully created this button so we can go ahead and hit save and we're ready to try it out. I went ahead and changed my microphone source over to the voice mod source so I can show you what this looks like. What we're gonna do is open up our touch portal application. I'm gonna go to my voice mod page. From here, what I'm gonna do is press that random button we created. You should notice a real effect taking place. We'll press it again. And it should turn off that effect. Just to try it one more time, we're gonna select the random voice by pressing the You should change the way my voice sounds uh, in real time. And then I'm gonna press it again and it should shut that off. Obviously there's a wide variety of things you can do with this plugin. We only took a look at two of the actions that are available. You have meme board sounds, you have all kinds of different actions that are built into the plugin. So make sure you toy with it and set it up the way you like. If you guys need more information on setting up touch portal when you're diving into this plugin, you can check out the other videos I have on my channel for setting up touch portal. They'll give you a lot of insight on some of the more finer details of the application. I want to remind you before I sign off here that all of the downloads are linked in the description below. I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, it would mean the world to me if you left a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I continue to make content just like this. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Peace out, and I will catch you in the next video.